Hey everybody, it's Greg Ray here with Outdoor Solutions and from Field to Table. I'm gonna share with you today some shooting tips that we actually teach during our long range schools. I'm on location at our Texas location, actually at one of our stations that we utilize during our day two, which is our practical hunting. Day one, we have our known distance. We're sitting on a nice steady bench. We have our Caldwell rest for a front rest and a rear rest. So you're nice and stable. But what I wanted to show you today is an actual hunting uh, situation where you're not gonna be that steady. And that is one of the comments that we get from students uh, after day one. They've reached out to a thousand yards. They're pretty confident. We bring them out here and they get in a, a, a practical situation, whether it's on shooting sticks, maybe we've got them prone. And they're like, man, I'm moving all over the place. I've got movement in my reticle and I'm not staying on target. And that's just the reality of it. There's not gonna be anything that is as steady as when you're on that bench but you're not gonna have a bench whenever you go out hunting. So what we're wanting to show you today uh, with the help from uh, Tacticam filming through our scope where you can see our reticle is to show you that there is gonna be some movement. It's just something that you have to adjust to and know that you can still hold over your vitals and still get your shot off. But what really comes into play is the other techniques that we teach, that our instructors teach uh, during our class. One in particular, what I'm gonna show you today is your trigger squeeze. That's gonna be really important when you're in not an ideal steady situation. All these other small factors really come into play. One of the things that we're gonna share with you here real quick, real quick is just a couple of days ago, we were chasing hogs here in Texas. We were doing spot and stock. We found a bunch of them out in a wheat field. We had tripod uh, just like this from bog. Uh, we got within 100 yards and um, you know, we had to throw them up and um, get on them and, and start shooting. Well, I had the Tacticam going on it as well. And so you can see I was not perfectly steady, but on a, on a hog size vitals, I was still able to hold in that area. And I was very conscious of my trigger squeeze, got a great hit and dropped it right where it, right where it stood. Uh, in my opinion, other than just straight off hand, uh, shooting from a tripod or a bipod in a standing position is probably the least stable there is, but probably one of the most common when you're hunting out west because uh, there's a lot of opportunity or you don't have a lot of opportunities to be able to go prone because you have brush in the way, uh, deadfall in the way, and you need that elevation to be able to get on your animal. So uh, we're going to uh, get on target here at 200 yards and you'll be able to see what I'm seeing through my reticle and uh, what we need to do to get a good hit. The other thing that we're going to do after I do this from a, a non-secondary supported uh, station, I'm also uh, going to show you some tips that we use uh, during our schools to help you get a little bit more steady if you have the time to set up. And just like that, we broke the target. But as you can see on the, uh, on the radical, I wasn't perfectly steady, but once I got dialed in, I was able to float within the parameters of that target. When there's times that you do have time to set up, there are some other options that you can do that we do teach in the classes. They're very simple. Uh, most of them require you having a hunting buddy with you, or maybe you're in a guided situation, but just utilizing two different sets of sticks. So what I'll do is I'll have my hunting buddy come in and set his set of sticks up, have them set up to the, to the height, for whatever, if you're right-handed, it's gonna go on your right side. If you're left-handed, it's gonna go on your left side. I have one of my sand sock bags on top. We use these in just about every hunting situation I go in. They, they come in handy for all types of uses. Um, but anyway, so I've got this now on my shooting side and I get it to the, to the proper height. And you'll be able to see here in the reticle that I'm a little bit more steady Actually, I'm quite a bit more steady than what I was whenever I was, did not have this uh, second point of contact. See, I felt a lot more confident and a lot more stable with that position. One other thing that you could do if you had the time to set up, instead of just putting your elbow on, you could actually utilize this for rear rest, so now you've got two points of contact just like what you would on a bench.